What's going on everybody? Today we are gonna be giving you guys tips and tricks on how to improve your outfit, all right? We are sure. gonna hit up the mall right behind us, check out some stores. I'm excited to see what we can find. Yeah. You guys ready? Let's, Let's go. go. All right, guys, so one thing I wanted to show you guys about cuffing your denim, okay? Say if you have a pair of denim like this and the bottom is a little bit wider than you want, what you're gonna do is cuff it one time like this, fold a little part right here, and then you're gonna cuff it again, and then cuff it one more time. So now at the bottom you have a more tapered fit with the cuff and it doesn't look like you folded it. Here's a quick comparison. Here's with the regular cuff. And this one here is about like an inch more tapered so it does make a difference. A really quick DIY tapering trick for you. All right you guys, being a bigger dude man, you gotta be a little bit more conscious about your weight and your size. And I'm not saying that it's a bad thing. I'm just saying you gotta be aware that sometimes your size is making a presence of its own already. I was taking a look at two different patterns but very similar in its own. So we got one right here, it's a little bit more subtle, a little bit more spaced out and then you have one right here that's probably gonna make you look like a little rose bush. This one is a little too wild. You don't want to be too loud, especially you know we got a lot of uh, frame to us, so a lot of frame is a lot of space. That's a lot of flowers. <laughs> also, because we're on the topic of patterns right now, stripes are in and stripes are super hot. But you need to know that there are two different types of stripes. So you see this one right here is a little bit wider spacing, so it's gonna give you a little bit more of like a wider effect. With this shirt, it's a little bit of the thinner stripe, so it's gonna give you a little bit more of that slimmer look. So overall, stick to the slimmer stripes. So one thing I wanna to recommend to you guys that I always do in my videos is going to fast fashion places for the fisherman biddies. This one right here, man, for five bucks is perfect, okay? You don't need any branding on fisherman beanies. You don't need them like overly thick or anything like that. So the $5 fisherman beanies from Forever 21, these are something I do recommend you guys get. You do not wanna pay for the branding when it comes to fisherman beanies. All right, so like we were saying in the videos, man, H&M, we're off that. You see what they had to do, close down. They're also saying we're looking for look, we're on a brand new look. <laughs> I like to think it was because of the videos. I don't know, man. I've seen uh, D'Angelo Russell recently. They gotta come better. Yeah, they gotta come more correct, you know? Tan, here's your favorite store, man. Go ahead, get your uh, little belly button uh, what? replacement. Go ahead, go ahead. Had to close it up, man. Body Perfect. Jewelry Store Plus. Tan spot right there. All right guys, so right now we are in JCPenney's and one thing that people do not know about JCPenney's is they have an endless amount of Levi denim, okay? From all sorts of fits, you got loose, relaxed, straight. They have it all. We're over here though, the 510. All right, so for the skinny dudes, you know, Tan, we categorize you in the, you know, the skinny McGee. For sure. What fits would you recommend? Come on, you gotta get with the 510 skinny. The 510. Don't get it good. confused with the 501s and the 512s, the 510s. Yes. 510s are for us skinny dudes. You got stretch. And the, my favorite thing about the 510s is the washes. We mm. are lucky because we get all of the washes. Come on, man. Why the skinny dudes get Come the better on, washes, man? man. Uh, also, though, if you guys are, you know, in between, you're not quite a big dude, mm -hmm. not quite a skinny dude, I would, would recommend these right here, the 512 Slim Taper. These are new. These are, new. These are good. These are good. I would say they're not quite, like, super duper skinny, but they do have a nice taper to them. Come on, man. Buy one, get one Buy one, get one 50% off. So, yeah. Just to let you guys know, JCPenney's has a great selection of a ton of Levi's. Make sure you guys check them out. So, you guys heard Richie and Tan just talking a couple about their favorite sizings. You guys are all always asking me about where you guys should start or where I get my pants. These are the 505 regulars. So if you guys notice, it is a little bit extra room in the thigh, but then it's a straight leg. So if you need to get it tapered, you can still have the option of getting it tapered. My go-to washes though, classic black. You always got a good classic black. And if you can get one that's a little bit of a lighter wash, but not too light, and it still has a little bit of hint of the yellowing on there, it's always perfect. You wanna stick away from like the dull denim. I call these the dull denim. Alright guys, so speaking of JCPenney's having a ton of different fits, like me and Tan were just saying, right here they have a whole breakdown of all the fits that they carry. You got 5'11 slims, you got slim straights, athletic slims. They have a huge, crazy variety, man. Also, if you guys want another tip, man, uh, here's a good tip. Stay away from any Levi's t-shirts, okay? Only denim, only pants, maybe a couple denim jackets, but never, ever, 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 ever wear a Levi's just t-shirt, okay? Not, not, so you tell me I can't- I mean this in the nicest way possible. I mean this in the nicest way possible. Please don't get at me. I just so not, would not wear these. Not every BOGO is a good one. Not every BOGO is okay. a good one. All right, so uh, the Levi's branded like, you know, t-shirts and sweatshirts, I would stay away. Oh man, right here, man. We call these the Young Jeezy's, man. The Young Jeezy's. I used to love these right Yo, here, bro. I used to always try to get 
these pants to go with my Tims. Mm. The only time I rock Tims. That's how I know you're a real one. The Tims with I'll the five of ones, right? right? The nice starchy, the Did Jeezy. Someone Tims? The Jeezy. <laughs> Did someone say Tims? I heard Tims. Tims oh, is a little God, like, uh, that's, this, a, that's a little alert bell for you, this, huh? This, this right here with the Tims? The perfect pants. Always. This is uh, tight. Right. Guys, 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 you know, this is a tips and tricks for 2020, okay? Sorry, Yay guys. or nay now. Y'all took me back a little bit. I'm going to have to say right here, you guys got to leave it alone. Leave it alone. There's different washes now, man. Look at the selections that we got. <laughs> this got to stick to just the raw denims. Uh, you got to leave some things on the past, and uh, the 501 Originals straight legs are one of them. Hey, Tan, you know how your uh, flies always open? Yeah. <laughs> you said you know how your flies That's always open. One thing I want to show you, all right? If your fly is really always loose, you know, it's always loose, mm -hmm. one thing that you could do is put a little key ring, a key ring right here, pull it up, and then you'll attach the key ring to this uh, button, button oh, wow. and it'll stay up here. Okay. There you go, buddy. Okay. Okay. So well, buy yourself you. a little key ring. And obviously, Rich was being sarcastic earlier. You know, my fly's not that open all the time, but that is a good piece of advice when it comes to having like a loose, broken zipper. Man, that key ring will keep it up. That's what she said. <laughs> this is for the extra big, the extra tall, the big and talls, okay? This is like a, how would you describe these type of guys? The D1 Tan? players. D1, the D1 players. football players, aka if you sitting on the line, if you're the lineman, the linebacker, you play football. I know we got some some viewers out there that watch us that, that play D1 sports. Levi's got you covered with the 541, man. Athletic 541. taper. Don't be shy. Come give it a try. And just to let you guys know, when we say it's for the big guys. This is a this is a 48 32 here. This Whoa. Is pretty big, man. All right, guys. So for the shorter dudes, one thing I really want to recommend is when you are looking for jackets, try to find jackets that have this adjustable cuff area in the wrist. It's really gonna allow you to adjust the length of the sleeve. So say if I didn't have this cuff area, you see right here, it goes past my hand. We'll just adjust it. And bam. Nice, tightly secured. So a lot of North Face jackets have this right here, but it's just something I would try to keep a lookout for. All right, so when it comes to us skinny dudes, I know we could be a little self-conscious when it comes to our ankles being so skinny, but a quick tip is to double up on your socks so that it beefs up your ankle to be more proportionate to your calf. Nice, easy fix, and you could keep skipping leg day. One tip I got for sure for the big dudes, stay away from this place. All right, so one trick that I have for you guys, if you guys live a completely, you know, active lifestyle, you're moving around a lot, but you know, you wanna wear denim and you're looking for something a little bit more comfortable, one thing I recommend are these Uniqlo denims right here. They're called the Easy Jeans, okay? They look exactly like real denim, but if you actually feel it, it's really stretchy and soft. So these are really good if you wanna stay active, you know, stay moving, but not rip your jeans. I recommend these right here. And out of all the colors, I would say I recommend the all black right here. This looks actually like a real pair of denim so yeah keep that in mind all right johnny the big cozy fluffy jackets big dude thing or no look 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 it's one thing to get called a teddy bear and it's another thing to actually look like a teddy bear my suggestion personally if you a really oversized guy you probably want to stay away from the cozy jacket look just because again it goes back to kind of like the big bold patterns and too much pattern you kind of look like a couch you know what i mean so cozy good looking like a teddy bear no good. So Flannel Boys CEO checking in. This is Flannel Boys 101. When it comes to picking out a flannel, stay away from the generic looking ones. When I say generic looking ones, the ones that, that have no depth, no intricate lines. Obviously this one's way too basic. If you look at this one, it's way more unique. There's more colors. I mean, this one has two colors while this one has four. So overall, you wanna find a flannel that doesn't have like these basic squares and just go for more of the unique design. This is to all my hot boys out there. When I say hot boys, I know that you guys start sweating, you guys be getting too hot, especially when you have to wear dress clothes, you have to wear a shirt underneath. I suggest, instead of wearing your regular cotton Hanes t-shirt, Uniqlo actually makes these air rhythm shirts that are a little bit more, I would say thinner, but then also have like a cooling effect. So instead of actually wearing your cotton that gets you a little bit warmer through those layers, I would say stick to the air rhythm shirts. Look here, man, walk past these things and almost fainted, all right? You don't want to rock these if you're too skinny. Mm. Your legs are just going to look a little too feminine. You, know? you be getting at me for uh, wearing the ankle socks, but you know, I got big calves, I got big calves. All right, so Tan is saying if you are skinny, Stay away from the ankle socks, but I say if you got nice, you know, calves, you work out the uh, legs and everything, go that's, with these. That's the uh, that's the athletic look, cause this goes both ways, man. You got cankles, you definitely don't want to wear no shoes. Oh.
All right, guys, so one thing I gotta recommend to you guys from Top Man, okay? A lot of the shorter dudes do not know that Top Man actually makes a 30 length. This is pretty rare for a lot of denim companies to make a 30 length and cater to the shorter dudes, but Top Man got us covered, so in a lot of their denim, look out for these. They make a 30 length and sometimes even a 28, so you don't gotta get them tapered, so this is something I definitely recommend. All right, let's see how much Nike is selling these for. 55 bucks, that's that's pretty steep, man. You can just go to a thrift store, find yourself some nice vintage Nike sweats and cut them yourself to give us this whole cut DIY look right here. So just go to the thrift store and you can do it yourself. All right guys, that pretty much wraps it up for our tips and tricks video. Let me know down in the comments below if there's anything else that you guys advise and maybe we'll show it in the next video. Make sure you guys share this with your friends, like it as well, and until next time, we out, peace.